Kevin O'Connor for the mud, talking to Mariana Morrison, who's planning a swim from Motiti to Makatu to remember her mother and to raise money for hospice. Mariana, why Motiti to Makatu? Um, so basically on the 24th of September last year, we had a um, meeting with an ultra crew um, when we decided that we were going to um, do another fundraising event for, for an organisation and I chose hospice. So basically because of my injury, my knee injury, we decided that we were going to do a swim from Motiti to Makatu because the Surf Lifesavers used to do it for their training um, in Makatu a few years ago. Before your knee injury, you used to do a lot of endurance and long distance events. What sort of thing? Um, so last year I decided to um, do an ultra distance for Cancer Society Relay for Life. So basically that was to raise awareness and um, just in responsiveness to my mum who was diagnosed with terminal cancer at the time. Uh, and I also did another three marathons thereafter last year with a torn ligament in between um, trying to rest and recover. Why did you choose hospice this time? So my reason for choosing hospice is they were there for myself and my family at a time of need. Um, I understand that they're 30%, 30 to 45% funded by the government and um, they're an organisation that goes without recognition, to be honest. I mean, you have a lot of organisations like Cancer Society and all those sorts of, um, I with the ice bucket challenge and stuff like that, but you never hear about hospice. And I'm not sure why that is, but it's really difficult. At the moment they've got an $800 shortfall. $800,000. Um, $800,000 yeah. shortfall. So to be able to give back and try to you know, raise the awareness is, is basically the, the main objective. Great. How long do you reckon it'll take you to do this swim? To be realistic, I'm giving myself eight hours. <laughs> Um, because of the salt water, you know, I need to take into consideration the safety aspects, the tides, the currents, um, exhaustion, and I've also got, so on the crew I've got my coach, I have my, a, um, who's an ex-Navy personnel as, as well as myself, um, and also another registered nurse who I was also in the Navy with as well, just to ensure that uh, we're stopping every 30 minutes to check for, check electrolytes, check how exhausted I am and so on and so forth. How long have you been training for this? For a while, so when I was injured I was doing a lot of cross training with swimming, so not so much the long, slow distance, um, more technique and uh, resistance training, but for the since about September last year I've been training long, slow, ultra distance. And you were saying you've got that big solid support crew behind you? Yes, yes, so I've got an ultra crew who um, consists of a couple of family members and ex-Navy personnel that are quite supportive and backing this 100%. And is this the biggest swimming challenge you've taken on? Yes, yes, it, it will be the biggest, definitely. You're confident? Oh, definitely. I'm definitely looking forward to the challenge. Like, I'm, I'm more than confident, actually. Um, I mean, I wouldn't get into something like this if I didn't think I wasn't capable of completing it. Thank you, Mariana. Thank you.